Okay, now I'm going to try to show you how to take out these drawers. Uh, it's very simple. This tool comes with a lot of them. But if you don't have it, you can buy it from Snap-on. I believe it's like a dollar or two. And, or you can make them. If you make a, you can take a hacksaw blade and file off the edges. But you want to bring this down to like 0.4 of an inch. Like just under half an inch wide. And it's, it's helpful to bend it in this way. A little at one end. A lot more at the other. And what I do, what you want to do is you want to hook... There's catches inside uh, on the doors. It's just like little dimples that stick out, that kind of like a little cup, kind of like a little louver on a hood of a car to hook air. But here they're just hooking what is ends up being a little another piece of this, basically a metal tab inside here. So when it comes out, the tab catches the the louver and it stops the drawer from opening. So what you want to do is. Uh, push the tab in so that it slides over the louver, it doesn't catch. So this is what we're looking at, this tab is on the inside of these slides, the clean one I can show you better. Um, when, when it's inside the drawer, they slide like this, obviously it's in the track. So what's happening is this little uh, tab is hooking this uh, louver or dimple or whatever you want to call it, it's just like a little cup. And it just sticks up enough to catch. So then the, the door slides out and stops there. Slides out and stops there. And then, like I just showed you, this tool uh, is holding it down. It's not holding it down, but it's basically protecting the tab. So that when the drawer slides out, it pushes it down. And then it allows it to clear it. Then it's free. That's all there is to it. So to do that, you aim it so that you're, you're towards the uh, slider, not the drawer. Uh, you, you can bring it out all the way, or mostly, and you can kind of feel when it passes over it. Now, instead of trying to pull it out at that point, just push this back so that it's well past the, the thing. So now you can see it's cleared it. It's right here. Now you can do the other side the same way. You slide it in so that it's going to pass that thing. You can feel it go over the bump, and then just push the, the, the rail out. And then this will go all the way out because nothing to stop it now. That's how that works. Uh, I'm going to do this one here the same way. I slide it down along this side. So a little bit in over the top. Push the uh, slider back. Same thing on this side. I pull it out. As it helps to actually bring it the catch in a little bit so that you're kind of dealing with one thing at a time. You're not dealing with the spring on top of the catch. So basically, once you're protecting the, the, the spring hook, now, there, see? It went over the top. And now the drawer is free. So that's the end of that. that is, that's how it works. I hope you understand. Um, now taking all these parts out is just good if you want to clean it up. Like I said uh, before, um, this one actually, this this box actually has a lot of, uh, is it, actually really nice. It works pretty good compared for the age and compared to other ones I've seen. Uh, this is actually nice. But anyways, uh, I'm going to start off with uh, trying to restore this top box. It's like I said, uh, KR61 is the model number and both of these top and bottom are from 1955 so it's at this point getting older and older but it's still works great so this these the, i'm going to kind of start a series of videos where i'm basically instead of uh, one video where you're i'm restoring the whole thing i'm going to probably break it up into smaller videos where i'm restoring parts of it the drawers first i'm going to start with the drawers here and i'll clean them up and put them back and then maybe I'll, and then I'll do like maybe the carcass the whole the outside shell first I mean next and then you'll be a video of that so step by step instead of trying to collapse it all into one video moving 90 miles an hour uh, in my videos I like to kind of show a more honest the display of the time and effort involved some of these where you know they say all you got to do is take out the transmission and then cut to the transmission is already out you know <laughs> or something like that and it's this complicated job but they don't. They just cut right to the to the next step. 
And, and that's fine if you really want to demonstrate the whole process in one shot, but I don't see any reason to. This isn't a TV show where I gotta squeeze three subjects into 20 minutes and, you know, a, 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 pro, a, a deal that takes overnight or three days, I can have to make it a five minute job. That was there's no reason for me to do that. So I'm just might as well take my time and be more honest about how long things take and what, what is it required to make it happen. And in the process of finding that, this whole thing turned up for sale. So it had the one I wanted plus this other one, which I actually wanted too, but I wasn't thinking about getting it just now. It just happened to have be connected. And now that I got them both, I really love that. This was probably bought at the same time in 55, 56, whenever someone bought it. And it's been a set its whole life, essentially. And it's got these older style door pulls. But I'm going to clean this up and uh, so that it sticks, it doesn't stick, <laughs> so that it runs better. But these actually slide pretty good. I've had a few of these toolboxes. And this one actually um, functions fairly well. Sometimes you can't get them open. One is completely cemented shut. Uh, they're broken or bent inside the tracks. These are friction slides. And, you know, one is bent or broken. And then uh, it won't open all the way. There's some shit behind there, papers and God knows what. Um, but now you can see what these look like. So my thing was, I'm going to now take out these drawers and just kind of clean them up lightly. Because this actually works pretty good and there's no real reason to fuck with it. I just want to get some of the dirt and out of the corners. You know, that kind of stuff. I don't see any reason to have that in there starting from... From, for me, it's starting empty. Once I start putting stuff in it, you know, I'm not going to want to take it apart again. So now is the time to do all the spider webs and all kinds of crap in there. Who knows how long this has been sitting in someone's garage. I uh, wanted to explain a little bit more. I, cleaned, I took these off, obviously, and actually I polished this top one a little bit. You can see it's a... I, I, I barely... Not barely, but I, I did work on it. And you can see how the red sort of came back a little bit it's, it's like a darker orange essentially so now that I did one drawer I'm gonna have to do the whole goddamn thing but uh, I really like this thing a lot and it was it's, it's actually a good size finally I find one uh, that fits everything I want but anyways in this in this uh, video here I'm trying to show you how to uh, remove the drawers from these uh, friction sliders and I uh, explained it earlier a little bit about the tabs, but I wanted to show you that you can also take the actual sliders out of the box itself using the exact same tool. You pull it all the way out. It's the same idea. It's the exact same thing. Uh, inside the wall, or you know, in this case, the middle, middle parts, uh, is the same exact setup as this. So I'm going slide to slide this down until it clears the tab. But you do it from backward. You do it from the other side. So it's actually easier to take out the big drawers and then reach in here and do it, which I didn't do now. I just realized I should have done. Okay, so I had to stop to uh, remove the second drawer down so I have room to get my hand inside. But obviously if you're taking these apart, you're, you can take one or two out. You're going to clean it. You're going to get so you drop something behind there, whatever. It's not a big deal, especially when I show you how to do it. But if you want to take this out to like clean it, like I'm going to kind of semi-restore this. I'm not going to bring it back to brand new. It's not that beat up. You kind of have to do this by feel, but once you understand what's happening, then you know what to feel for. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm putting this, sliding this from, from the back behind. I, I want it to be facing, you know, the tab, which is on this side. And I can feel where it stops, and I can feel the track that's, that's uh, welded or somehow bolted to the, uh, um, the box. So I want that to be facing the, the friction slide, and I push it in until it, it it'll allows the tool to slide over the clip. Now when I pull it past, like I said, as I as I pass the, the uh, louver or the dimple, it's pushing this down because it's, it's not moving. It's just sliding over like that, and that pushes the spring out of the way, and then the whole thing comes out. So now you can really see what's happening. Oh, look how clean that is. Now other companies, by the way, um, like uh, Craftsman or whoever, uh, they'll have drawers similar to this, Matco, but instead of the uh, little dimple or, or, or uh, catch type of thing here, it'll be a hook or it'll be a tab that's sticking out from the side of the thing, 
and you'll notice on these like you know here's my tab which would face this side of the drawer right this all these parts go together and it's inside the, the box there's nothing there's no holes here the other ones have sometimes holes where you can reach in you reach through the thing through the, the friction slide and then you're pushing down what would be a tab on this side not just this is a stiff piece of metal this isn't going to bend at all but the other ones are designed to collapse and then you can again clear it so once you clear these two hooks however they're designed that's how you get them out and that that's how they stay in and that's how you get them out uh, and i'm showing you specifically this one because this is the one i have this is old <laughs> saw my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident with myself. The motherfucker! Don't get above me like that! <laughs> 